As Java and JDK are set up and validated, now let us go ahead and set up Scala using IntelliJ. Keep in mind that Scala is one of the featured plugins for IntelliJ, which means if you already have IntelliJ running on your PC to develop Java-based applications, you can actually go to plugins and then download Scala and go ahead and use it. However, as we are doing from scratch, and also as we are talking from the Scala context, first of all, let us go into options we have with respect to setting up of Scala, and then we will get into setting up of Scala using IntelliJ. For that, I am opening Chrome on my PC, and then searching for Scala downloads, going here, and you can see the steps that are required to set up Scala. You can read this, the most popular way to get Scala is either using Scala through SBT, the Scala build tool, or to use Scala through an IDE. So either you can actually go ahead and set up Scala through SBT or IDE. In this case, we'll be using IDE approach. This approach of using IntelliJ and setting up Scala is primarily for full-featured IDE, and it is recommended for beginners. If you are comfortable with command line and if you want to use command line, you can actually download SBT and you can set up Scala with it. And you can actually see some of the uh, instructions as part of these additional documentations. However, we'll be covering uh, in detail as part of uh, this video. That being said, if you don't want to uh, set up IntelliJ or SBT, if you just want to set up Scala and practice using REPL, you can actually uh, download the binaries directly from here. Let us use this download IntelliJ option here. So when you actually click on this, it is taking you to jetbrains.com slash idea. And then if you click on download here, it actually show you two options. One is ultimate and second one is community. Okay, so community is free. Ultimate is free for one month. And after that you need to uh, get license and start using ultimate version with all the features. However, for our purpose, at this time, community is good enough, and hence I'm downloading community version. And you see, it will take some time to download completely. Now the ID is downloaded. We can double click on this. Then click on next here. Click on next. If you want to change, you can change the path before clicking on next. I don't want to create any launcher here. And already we have set up JRE and JDK and hence we don't need to select this. Then click on next, install. It will take a while to install uh, IntelliJ IDE. Once that is done, we will actually set up Scala plugin as well on top of this. Now the installation is done. I am selecting this run IntelliJ IDEA community edition so that it can launch the uh, IntelliJ IDE. As we, this is the first time we are setting up, we are not importing any settings and click on OK. And then we just have to scroll down. If you want, you can read through it and then accept. And then you can say either send usage statistics or don't send, it's all up to you. This is primarily to IntelliJ to track issues that are happening on your PC so that they can improvise on their product. I am choosing don't send. And now uh, there are two themes with respect to IntelliJ out of the box. One is Darkula, second one is uh, the standard. You can choose one of them. I will be using Darkula. And then click on next default plugins. And you can see all these things are uh, already set up with your IDE. Okay. And then featured plugins. And as I have mentioned to you earlier, Scala is one of the featured plugins in IntelliJ. And you can click on install. Now the installation is done. And we can actually click on start using IntelliJ IDEA. And it will actually launch IntelliJ along with Scala plugin. And we'll actually see how we can use this to create our first Scala-based application.